War. There's so much war. What a great campaign this is. This is awesome. Austria's at war. What? The Austrian Augsburgian trade war. You declared war on Augsburg for a trade dispute? <laughs> what? Why? You better not take Friesland from me, you bastard. I will fucking be so upset with you. What is going on? Why would you declare a trade war? You're the emperor. Who cares? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Oh, jeez. For the colonialism. Hey! Brandenburg's actually trying to vote for me. Cool. Portugal? Yeah, okay. Wow, what a surprise! It's in Portugal, guys! You know, remember when we thought that Morocco owning Algarve was weird? And, like, that was such a crazy thing to happen? And now we have big Ragusas and, and freaking Protestant Austrias. This is weird. Now it's early World War II. Great job, Jono. Uh, I would like to pat myself on the back for this one. I am very proud of it. Holy shit, that's a lot of army. That's a lot of scary army. Poland? Okay, they yeah, siege me. Like, I'm fine with that, seriously. I'm, I'm gonna break this siege if they come near me. Mercenary maintenance goes down. Poland, you wanna, like, deal? Are you in Switzerland? Where are you? Is Switzerland in another war? Poland, you want to, like, deal with this, please? The AI has, like, ADD. It's like, I want to siege, but at the same time, nah, and he locks away. Also, I don't know what Brandenburg's doing over here. He's drunk. Here's Poland, coming to take him out. Poland's just gonna sweep the mess up real quick. Yep, there it goes. Everyone's jumping in. Big fight, big fight. Where's Poland's big army? You better get over there. That's Lithuania and Poland. You're gonna lose if you don't get over there. Oh, you're gonna win. No, you're gonna lose. You just lost that fight. You idiot. Why wouldn't you... Oh my god. The Empire's already imploding. Hey, I can't say I really am too upset about it. God, I don't know why the AI didn't just, like, jump over there and assist. That would have been such a good win for us. They would have been retreating, it would been perfect. But nope. Eh, you know what, whatever. Just let a really important fight go to waste. Here we go, this is a good one. Oh, a 25 stack coming in behind it? Easy win. Yeah, they retreated. Nice, okay. We got this war then. The punitive war. God, everyone's getting wrecked. What's the big ass green country? This one? Cologne? Cologne did blob pretty big, didn't they? Holy crap. What is Brunswick at? Yeah, they're at war with Cologne. Yeah, Cologne got pretty big. Yeah. Admin idea? Yeah, sure. So, mercenary maintenance goes down. Lose some Diplo. Honestly, other than the whole Nuremberg thing, I actually like this, this Bohemia, you know? Because, like, if this was Bohemian, this would look really cool. Like, because it's a nice consecutive blob. It doesn't split anything up until the Nuremberg thing happened. That's a little, hmm. Yeah, it's doing a lot more. I hate it, but it makes it more sense than it does. See, I like it. I, I like it, personally, because it makes it harder. I, I like how the AI is actually carpet sieging and retreating and actually, like... In fact, one fight I had in Hungary last time I was doing Presser John... I had the AI constantly retreating, and then when I went to Carpet Siege, it would turn around and attack me, and it kept doing this over and over again, and it ground my manpower down to zero, and I almost lost that war because of that. And it was, and like, I was like at the point of, of the game where I was just like, okay, I'm so done with this campaign, because it was just for Constantine, or Constantinople at that point, because it was for the last province for Professor John, I was done. And I kept getting fucking wrecked by Hungary, but, you know, we won, eventually. After Austria white peace for no apparent reason. Whatever. If you feel that's the best course of action, Austria, I'm not gonna fault you for it. I guess I'll return you. 
Who else I want to make happy? Um, I wouldn't mind topping off Austria. I wouldn't mind topping off... Are there any other allies? I always forget. Munster? Oh my god, Munster. You're only two province. What happened? Maybe I'll just go for you. And just eat Munster. No, you're friends with Liege. Oh, you're actually... Are you at war with us? I don't think so. Which province are you going after the next 25 years? Friesland, for the most part. See, the problem is Friesland's a free city, so what we have to do is we have to declare war in Liege, and then turn around and take Friesland, because they're allies, so... But, yeah, Friesland will be the target. I can't believe Munster got wrecked. England holds on to Europe longer, it seems. Actually, uh, England won. So not only does it hold on to Europe longer, it fucking wins. It got Arvignac. <sighs> nope, Brandenburg's getting wrecked. One's there to help. Uh, Mantua? Sure. Lithuania's coming around to smash some armies. Anyone big in my first Rights of Man campaign? That I'm still playing. Yeah, see, like, I'm, I'm seeing a lot different things happen. Like, I had my last game, France lost to Switzerland. They got eaten by Switzerland. Half of their country. Switzerland. Switzerland. Not so neutral anymore, I guess. It's so, I love, I love it. And Hungary blobbed like this. It was amazing. I love this new patch so much. The AI is so much more fun to play with. Because, like, now it, it doesn't feel like the countries that always blob, blob. It feels like any country can blob because the AI is just smarter all around. It. At least that's how it feels to me. It feels like every country is just better. Like, because the AI is just better. So. I, I just, I, this patch is great. It's really, really good. Especially when it had that bug where it, all the people, every time they got overextended, they released a ton of vassals. So you saw, like, the Ottomans at the beginning of the game with, like, ten vassals. That was great. That was pretty funny, too. Alright, we got Hamburg out. I'll go for Lubeck next. Are these just... Ooh, yeah, these are lights. Okay. Rayman, seriously, breathe new, light, breathe new life in the game for me. I feel like they reached the pinnacle for this game so far. I agree. I definitely agree. Yeah, I'm going for the Switch Lake achievement. That's what it felt like it was. Oh, wait. They took Brescow? Holy crap. Except they also took, like, Genoa as... No, no, no! I remember now! They took Provence as, as and uh, they took, I don't know how to pronounce this, as um, Switzerland, and the Papal State took all of this. The Papal State was huge. It cut through, like, there was a big blobbed Ferrara. The Papal State cut through it and took everything over here and took all this. And there was, like, a little Naples down here that was two provinces, and it had, like, 7,000 ducats because it didn't know what to spend it on. It was so fucking funny. Yeah, he's better except for the Polonian AI, who's idiotic. Well, I mean, that's just Poland. It's, it's, you know, it's just, it's whatever. <laughs> they have enough men to compensate for it. <laughs> oh, come on. Hit that 35%, please. <laughs> Holy crap, it's already midnight? Damn, this game's so much fun. Yeah, see, like, I was, like, to trying to decide last few days what I was gonna play next. Uh, Netherlands or Scotland or Lithuania or Austria or Hungary. Like, I don't know, man. There's so many places to play. Alright, they're getting wrecked. Let's go siege Lubeck down. Oh, and I'm here first. Leave me alone. I'll give this to Brandenburg. It doesn't matter, but. Either way, AI is smarter than Poland, it seems. I mean, like, I don't know if the AI is any different between the two of them. It just matters on what the AI... It just maybe you see Poland AI being stupid more. I don't think that means one's more stupid than the other. But granted, I don't know. I mean, I've seen some French AI pre be pretty stupid. But that's only when it constantly declares on the Empire. 5.55 AM there? That sounds like a normal night to me. They were trying to form Netherlands because I didn't want to start the game in a PU. Honestly, it's super easy to break free, so I'd recommend it. I mean, you could form the Netherlands as Burgundy. You just won't get the achievement, because the achievement is for a minor, I believe, right? Uh, it's just the J. Can't pronounce it, but yeah. Form the Netherlands as a minor nation. But if you want to just do it as Burgundy, you can do it as Burgundy. 
So you, you can do it like that. I feel like that'd be much harder, but you could. Uh, maneuver. Yep, let's go for that. We also got plus one merchants and some trade range. Hell yeah, let's do some trading, even though I'm terrible at the trade mechanics because I still don't understand them. 260 hours. Still don't know what the fuck I'm doing when it comes to trade. Hell yeah. Okay. I guess I'll just transfer from the North Sea because I'm going to transfer from the other two. That's probably the best thing to do since it's all going to English Channel. Yep, okay. It's not the most because we don't have that much power up there, but it's probably the best. How much army tradition? Let's see. We have 57.9. Pretty good. We had a decent general. My name is Jilland, and I'm preparing an invasion on Wessex. It's fun to play over there in invading England as uh, some of the Germanic tribes. Those are pretty fun. Ooh. What is this? Freeze, what are you at war with? Oh my god! What is going on? Defender against Luca, defender against Manchu, def like, oh my god, I should just declare war now and take on Friesland. Jeez, I mean, fuck it, right? No, I'm not gonna do it, because I want some friends in it, but still, at this rate, I want a Poland alliance. Ooh. How many alliance? East Frisia, I still have that royal marriage with you, god damn it. Don't want to be married with you, I still, I, mm. I'm gonna try for the Poland Alliance anyway. Really want someone big on my side? Besides Austria. Ow! My Colonial Ming? What in the world is this quest this world come to? Colonial Ming seems really fun. Staying ahead of tech as Ming, I mean, come on. That's like constant first world, or greatest power in the world constantly. The whole entire game. France is embargoed England. Luca needs access. Oh, whoops. Stop blockading. Oh, because I have blockade in here. Yeah, it's galley area, but that's... Oh, Poland's already doing it for me. Oh. Oh, never mind then. Well, nah, never mind. No, no point. I'll just send these out. Oh, hey, man, again. Ooh, Venice is at war with Austria. Oh, okay. Uh, it's so weird that Austria declared a trade war. I why? Of all people, Austria, and not even against Venice. You declared it against someone in your empire. Like that seems so stupid. That does not seem like the way to get some imperial authority, if you ask me. Also, holy shit, it's a big army. Oh, beat him up, Poland, Lithuania. Do it! More exhaustion. Uh, yeah, we're fine. I don't need to buy that down yet. If ever. Let's see. We're almost able to click a button. Not quite, but close. I think I'm going to go ahead and build another shipyard so I can continue. I don't want to build it where I only have one building left, though. I'm going to continue uh, getting some more ships out there, get some of my trade up. If I'm going to be Netherlands, I better make sure I have the ships to back it up. Plus, I want some heavy soon. What should I make? 288? Okay. How much is a heavy? It's like 0.5 maintenance, right? Uh, 0.49. Okay, about. All right. That's not too bad. 20%? No. Okay, of course not. You should try the Kingdom of Jerusalem achievement. I looked into that. Honestly, a Cypress or the Knights probably is the Knights, because Cypress seems a lot harder. But, uh, I mean, I don't know. Maybe the Knights, I mean, knights can raid, so that makes the Knights, like, so much better. Because they can raid, like, right away, and they get disciplined. Cypress, on the other hand, eh. But, uh, yeah, the, the King of Jerusalem doesn't seem that hard. I mean, it doesn't seem that easy, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to, like, trivialize the, achie trivialize the achievement. It seems like it's challenging, but it doesn't seem like... It's... It doesn't seem like you're fighting England as an Irish miner, basically. <laughs> well, I guess you kind of are, aren't you? 
Well, yeah, it's it's different. You switch around a lot more. Lots of no CBing over there. All right, I think we got it. Really, 42%. It'd been so good if I sieged that I would look so smart. Ruined it. Completely ruined. So, is everyone else sieged? Switzerland has not been sieged. Alsace hasn't been. What are you guys even doing? Just cleaning up the army? I mean, I guess it is superiority war. Doesn't really matter. Lubeck's down. Alright, let's head down and see what I can kill down here. Uh, Bavaria is still in this war. Alsace, Switzerland, Biden. I guess we should siege Switzerland. Oh, I don't have a leader. It's a pretty good leader. Maybe we should siege Ulm. Let's go for Ulm. Well, why not? Oh, he peaced out. What'd you get? Switzerland gets gives war reps and 450 ducats. And that's it. Okay. Nice. Good war. Please don't declare another one for a little while. Man cover. Uh, wow, two recovery ones. So war exhaustion less than one or manpower 90%. I think the war exhaustion one's going to be much easier to do. And it also gives us a better thing. Manpower recovery speed. Because then if I still have this manpower thing, I could do the next one after I have the speed recovery. So we'll do that. And we'll head back home and be worried. Yeah, thankfully we don't have to deal with the mountain forts. Because Switzerland understood that it got fucked. What? Brandenburg? Why'd you rival Saxony? You two are friends. Oh, That's just mean. And all slices is stuck in my territory. Oh! Well, France is in their third war against England, and this time it looks like they might be winning. Good for you, France! The only thing I don't like about Wright's Man is the fact that you take cross melodies to become the attacker when they support a besieged province. Um... Well, it's only on forts. But I understand what you're talking about. I, I, I See, I like that. I really like the fort thing. Because it gives forts a reason now. Like, you want forts. Because, like, I could fort up my entire my entire thing, and I have defensive ideas. And I could destroy people in my tiny little country. Like, I'm very strong with forts. And that's, like, really... Like, I like that. Because forts were so... Like, who wanted... Everyone deleted forts before. Like, who cares about forts? But now forts actually could change the tide of a battle. If you know what you're doing, which I like. I think it's nice to incorporate that kind of strategy into it. But I mean, you know, everyone has their own opinion on it. I guess I'll get another cav. Sorry, do you want to talk about the crossing penalty? That minus two kills your army, it wasn't crossing the one that crossed you? Oh, okay, so, yeah, I think I know what you mean. So, for instance, there was a fort here... And uh, I even said I even said earlier in the stream when this happened, um, we were we were sieging and they crossed over the strait and we got the crossing penalty. That is pretty stupid. Like that doesn't make any sense. I understand the terrain penalty because it's there for it, but they shouldn't give the crossing penalty too. That's kind of dumb. Like that's a little bit too much. But that okay, that I understand. Yeah, yeah. Is that that confused me too? Dude, I could just declare right now. Austria wouldn't even join in. <laughs> Already in war with. Cleves, the Knights, Liege. Like, see, this would be scary, Verdin. I could just declare. See, if I had Brandenburg, I would do it, but... Because I don't have Brandenburg, I'm not going to do it. Which is fine. Maybe they'll hotfix that, because that seems dumb. Well, I mean, I would do it, but like... I don't want to deal with everybody at the same time. Yeah, you. I will lose the mission if I declare, because that, that automatically does it. Yeah, my war exhaustion is pretty high right now, so I'm not going to do it yet. It's not the, it's not a surefire win either. I'm only gonna declare if it's a surefire because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna risk it. Trade efficiency, yeah, it's fine. Let's get some heavies. We'll grab two to begin with. 
So you can compete. I could pay to get it reduced, yeah. You're right. Uh, I don't want to do that, though. I would rather spend it on... Uh... I actually don't have anything to spend it on, because this is going to be ahead of time by a little bit. Huh. I don't, I, nah, I don't want to reduce it. I don't want to waste it. I'd rather save up and develop, if anything. Because, like, it's 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 more beneficial to develop than it is to pay for war exhaustion at this point in time. Because, like, I'm not at war. What does it matter, you know? Yeah, I'll consider Fort Snary Province once you have lots more money. I don't think I can even afford two carrot carrots right now. I can do one. And a bark. Cannot afford two. Herrick's heavies are a bit... I said Herrick. Herrick and heavy. Heavies are a bit too much for me right now. Austria. So, Friesland, you're still... You're only at war with two people now, right? I think you're pieced out. Yeah. So now you're at war with Genoa, Switzerland, Manchu, and Luca. Okay. Austria would join in now, though, so I lost my chance. But that's okay. I'm going to be declaring war on Liege. Friesland wouldn't join in. Damn. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what I need. <laughs> Bonus for the mission would be worth the points, I think. Well, the bonus for the mission is only manpower recovery and unrest. Unrest is kind of useless to me, and manpower recovery I don't really need right now, so not really. Okay, now we can actually do this because it's not ahead of time. Now I can get the new heavies and stuff, so I might want to stop those and get the new ones. Hold on. It's like a full hundred days shorter if I do it there. I did do heavy, right? Yeah, I did. Wait. I did do both. Okay. Carrick. This is a carrot, though. Yeah, okay. Just making sure. But not the Ari. From England, Brittany, and East Frisia. East Frisia, you want to conduct the Ari? Munster, Oldenburg, and... Ver I can honestly destroy them. Munster's alone. So I could take out Munster... Oldenburg's in a different war. Did you pay a lot for my army? You're out of money. You wouldn't even pay a lot for my army. 37 ducats? Ah, get out of here, dude. Who else wants it? England. Yeah, I can't access your capital. Brittany. <laughs> hey, Brittany. Need some help? Yeah, I'm good. If they could have paid, I would have done it and just destroyed them, but nah. I'm not going to waste manpower on that. It's not worth it. Alright, let's speed up a little bit. Please, is peace out. Inflation's going down. Income's doing decently. And Castile's paying off now. Someone should pay off me. East Francia still exists? Oh, Frisia. For now. Unrest? Oh, man, we get a cruel? That's our heir, right? No, that's our leader. Ugh. No, it's our duchess. That's our queen. Wait, what? No, our, our leader is a, is a is a woman. It's our duchess. Cruel. Wow, that's terrible. Trade efficiency, let's go over that. Mm. Alright, Friesland, how you going? so cool if East Frankie was actually a thing, though. I'd be so happy. I don't even think that's... Yeah, it's, no, I, it's not that I don't think. It's 100% impossible, unless it's a custom nation or modded. But that would be so cool if it was a thing. They should just have a DLC that's just like, here's 500 formables from ancient time or from, like, all times. I think... Actually, you know what? No, that makes it less special. Never mind. They should at least have, like, five, though. Like, Turkey... Um... Austria, Hungary, stuff like that, you know. I should at least add those. I could get Poland now. 
I still have the Royal Marriage with East Friesland. Can't break it, because I would lose stability. Um, but I'm fine on Diplo, so I'm going to go for the Royal Marriage and Alliance stuff. Filter tech cost, lose stability. Fuck. I'm going to have to lose that stability. I don't know. Well, no. This is only for 10 years. It's not that bad. Was there more hidden nations for the medieval era kingdoms? I agree. That would be awesome. Ugh. Terrible consort. Because that's, like, so much cooler. You can form the Empire of Frankie King. No, I don't think you can. Can you? I don't think so. I never heard of that ever. I don't think so. If that's a possibility, that's new to me. Empire of Francia EU4. I don't think so. Because if you play as if you play as Francia and you convert to CK2, you turn into France. So Francia is France. It's already in the game. Because when you use the CK2 converter, it automatically changes it to France. So, technically, I guess. Um, trade power would be really nice. Who would get mad, though? Nobility. They'd also gain some influence, burgers would. Could I make the nobility happy? Yes. Okay. Like, you can promote a certain amount of cultures for now, 100 bird mana. Really helps historically bob lobby countries. Yeah, I agree. Like Ming. <laughs> Except it does kind of make it so that Ming never pops anymore, which is a little upsetting because I haven't seen Ming pop since Rights of Man came out, which is sad. Maybe they need to add like Ming events to make it pop or to make it harder to not pop, you know, but. Okay. Rara is impeached. 100 military, you can show the world how non totalitarian to Ugh, that word is always weird for me. Totalitarian, totalitarian, there we go. You are using military to force people to think you're not totalitarian. The word is so hard for me. It's tongue twister in my mind. Legitimacy was the most annoying fucking thing ever in this game to get up, so I'm glad they added this in, because this is so frustrating, that pissed me off so much. Uh, this is probably, well, we're gonna become a. It doesn't matter. I'm not gonna change that. All right, we got a Carrick. Let's mothball it. We're not gonna need it right now. Oh, rebels! You having fun over there? Poland wouldn't join because of favors. Bramberg wouldn't join because of debt and war exhaustion. Munster wouldn't join because of fighting another war. Okay. Why are you in another war? You don't look like you're in another war. Oh, yeah, you are. The East Region one. Totalitarian. Total totalitarian. There you go. I don't know why I said totalitarian. Totalitarian. It's so it's so weird. But when you say it like that, that's helpful. Words are hard. Hello. Oh, you want my trade power? How about you go fuck yourself? Stop asking. It's like the sixth time you asked me, Austria. I don't want to give it to you. Oh my god, Brandenburg! Not again! This time for Friesland, though. This is... What? Oh my god, what? Jesus! Why is this always happening, Tortillatarian? <laughs> Brandenburg! Yeah, yeah, shut up. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him! Oh god, it's too late! It's too late! No, there's too many of them, I got wiped! Oh, I didn't get wiped. I'm gonna get wiped. Austria! Hey, let me out! Wait, you can't get past that. I think I'm fine. Run! Run! No, this is a defensive war. Wait, it's a second punitive? What the fuck? There are two coalitions! <laughs> there were two coalitions! <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Can somebody help? Poland? Poland. Running away from the evil men. Oh my god, July 1st. I'm not gonna get it in time. Come on! Oh god! Hey, look! What? What a mess! France, why would you do it like this? Oh my god. I know it's because they're cores and this is... Well, this is a core too. Oh my god, France, you, fr you frustrate me. Dude, the fucking Prussians, man. They're going for it. Oh! Wait! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? How did... Why? Why is... <laughs> why is Austria in the war? I don't understand. Why was Austria called in? <laughs> Fuck. Why was Austria called in now? So... <laughs> Good luck. This is what they're fighting. This is my- the red is me. This is what they're fighting. Holy shit. Good luck. I don't even know why Austria is in this war. I'm so confused. I don't know what's going on. Rights of Man, 10 out of 10. Totally worth 20 bucks. Would spend again. I know, right? And that's probably the weirdest thing about the whole game. Austria, can somebody like deal with this? Austria is like down here waiting for the reinforcement. I don't even know why Austria is. Why did Austria. Just... Can somebody explain why Austria is in this war? This was not a war from outside the HRE, so why did Austria join the war? I'm so. I. I. I don't. I don't know. They're not allies. So I don't know. Col is it because Cologne's an elector, maybe? Possibly? I have no fucking clue. Just gonna sit down here and uh, intervene. There's no great power on the other side, though. They can only intervene if there's a great power on this side, but there's nothing. In fact, in fact, we have two great powers on this side, which would be, which is even scarier, because then England could intervene on the other side. So no, it can't be intervention. You can only intervene if there's two great, po if there's a great power on both sides. It's the only time you can intervene. If it's unbalanced with great powers, if it's two great powers versus one great power, that's the only time you can intervene. So England can't even intervene. So I have no idea what's going on here. It's so confusing. But I don't care. I'm just gonna let my friends take all my provinces back and I'm gonna hide. I hope I get Friesland. I don't have to do anything. Dude, every game, Prussia OP. 